you also so you spoke about i'm going to go back to your you going into a changing room as a player which is really interesting you said you were really comfortable that was your safe space coaches with this tough bit what would you as you transitioned and sort of became more of a senior figure in in the changing room then there's going to be new faces coming in and you're going to be the one that's having to create that environment is there first off what is the advice you would give for those senior players for creating that environment and also what advice would you give to a younger player that's going into that environment to make give themselves the best possible opportunity to uh, i guess be accepted because you are coming into a tribe in inverted commas you are you are coming into a new a new tribe so yeah what would be your advice firstly as that senior figure and then secondly as a as a player yeah so i think the the advice probably would be the same um but it's going to have a little bit of, of different emphasis so as a senior player I, I certainly realised, well, I didn't realise this was the problem. So I was as a youngster and then I got older and more experienced. And then and then suddenly you are now an experienced player, but but you don't necessarily realise it. And so when new players came in, um, I didn't really start to, to realise that I was this person that, that <laughs> needs to be welcoming this person in. Because yeah. I was still saw myself as I was because I well, particularly because I got in quite young. Mm. Um, but you know five years in I'm 24 I still I'm still young but actually I'm I now need to I'm you know kind of flick that switch and realize that I'm now that senior player um and although regardless of age if you've got an influence in the change room then then that's kind of something that you you need to know um and so my very simple advice would be to as a senior player would be to go and say hello yeah. <laughs> it's very simple it's very simple yeah. um but go and say hello introduce yourself get to know them straight away um that that initial contact can make all the difference um and the moment you leave it until even the next time that person who's new into the changing room is is like oh they've now got a little a few doubts um so i would just so that's what i would say is go and say hello um as soon as you can and and people don't do it because they're afraid you know they're afraid of making that connection and and not sure and as a senior player sometimes you're not sure what um the the new player is going to be like and there's there's that potential kind of just thing that's there that you don't even realize but as a senior player you have to make that first move you have to mm. that, so that's what i would say on the flip side I would also say is the the new player coming in try and go and say hello yeah yeah no you're right <laughs> try and be open to it um and hopefully the, the senior player will come up to you um but don't just assume that because they're the senior player that they are comfortable with themselves and have that ability to communicate um because that's what it is it's an it's an ability to communicate and not everybody has it and just because you're a senior and experienced doesn't mean that you have it and actually as a junior player coming in I I know there was 100% I was made to feel like that a little bit from some players and I know now that it was because they were just nervous and mm. they didn't they didn't know how to do it um and so yeah I would just just make just make the first move somebody just go and say hello basically yeah it's 